Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Majestic, murderous glint hawks. I hope you like fighting. 
fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Majestic, murderous Glintpaw. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! to do it for you. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. Ah. 
Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Ha! Ah, those majestic, murderous glint -hawks. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Ah! Those majestic, murderous glint hawks!
Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Majestic, murderous glint hawk. like fighting these things because there's more in the way never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you Those majestic, murderous glint hawks! Yeah. I hope you're not fighting these things, because there's more in the way! As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. 
We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa... you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel... how I felt... about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osiron devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please. Accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time... to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time... I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you.
Would you like to buy something today? Most of the commoners take the elevators back down to the village. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Ha ha! It's funny to Wait, pester the tinker in the cave. Sure, just a look. Good day. Hey, buy something to You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. A moment of your time, Outlander? Arrested two for disorderly conduct last night. Some awesome girl applied to the city guard the other day. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. <laughs> <laughs>